Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty for an Air Crew Lounge members only video. This week I've been pretty light. I have posted videos, but pretty light on playing because my son and his four college slash graduated friends are here and I've had to take them out fishing. The first day we went like, I think 25 miles offshore, didn't catch anything. The waves were light going out, but coming back they built and we were in three to four foot swells, not comfortable. The second night, we did. I live on an island in South Alabama with 6,000 of my closest friends. And uh, we got in the boat and went around the island fishing at people's docks. We caught some mangrove snappers and a few other fish. Uh, usually it's pretty good fishing with, for redfish and under docks, but um, we had a good time. It was my son's birthday. We all had a cigar. Everybody, nobody inhales. At least those who did ended up coughing it right back out again. I posted the fish this morning and have some extra play that I'm going to use as a background here while we talk. In one of my videos or on the stream, I mentioned the 65,000 plus players that got banned last week. Activision put that out in their Caught Updates Twitter account. I was happy about that, but then Insured Frames, one of the better players among us, a, a sub, said, well, they're going to wreak havoc in the lobbies. And that was a prescient comment because as you'll see, I have been going against these people with less than 100 ranks or 140 ranks or a 10 rank, and they're absolutely wiping the lobby. They got every cheat going. The most common cheat I'm seeing out there now is walls. You know, people pre-firing you or trying to shoot you through large obstructions that bullets don't go through. And you, this is just one example. It's a free-for-all match that I played today. And you can see that second, third, and fourth place, those guys are all... 27 and then the next two are less than 20 15 and 15 yet they were really good players in terms of being fast in terms of having a good aim this video i'll probably use for i think the vel 46 i tested that with the quartermaster stock so without further review here's the configuration i use for this video let's go through it and talk some more sit back with your favorite beverage mine's an unsweet milo's iced tea Let's talk about it. Milo's around Birmingham, they're famous for their hamburgers. They make them a different way. They put a different sauce on them or something. And their sweet tea and unsweet tea, a World War II veteran came back and created a hamburger stand in Birmingham, Alabama. And it just grew from there. Now it's a corporation. We were talking about the cheats arriving and thanks insured frame for uh predicting that and it came true maybe if you hadn't prophesied who knows but if you're on the stream on sunday night one of the the guy from minnesota had played with a a, a young man who said he was cheating very bold very brazen with a car 98, which seems to be the weapon of choice, I think most of the good car players are all cheaters. I'll be honest with you on that. Now, I'm not saying all. Most does not equal all. So what this guy said, he was so brazen that he answered questions. And he said that he bought 100 accounts, 100 caught accounts, fully camoed up for $300. So when he gets... Band on one, he just goes to the next. And he was ranking up his most current account. And he went, I guess, several hundred levels in that one day or a hundred or something because he had started in the first game at a very, like level 10 or something like that. So he, the guy actually ended up in our lobby on the enemy team. And yay, verily, he did say, hey, yeah, I'm cheating. And he was using the car 98, and he was hardly missing a shot. So I think Activision needs real-time detection and real-time banning or moving to a shadow ban or just removing from the game for five minutes while the software chugs through and does its thing. There is advanced machine learning algorithms out there that could be created. Like, that guy was pretty good. They could be created to measure a lot of things. I mean, there's a lot of data out there, and Microsoft, the parent company, does use 
advanced machine learning, data analytics. I know because I was there. I was an employee. And also when I was the chief technical officer for a very large medical company in Singapore, we were in six countries, had 26 million patients, and I was responsible for all the technology. Well, I contracted for the same sort of thing, the machine learning analytics with the University of Washington because there's a professor, Ankur, Ankur Teradesai, who is the best in the world at that. And I spent a lot of time with Ankur, and we did a lot of algorithms analysis. And really, it, it only took a matter of seconds to analyze tens of millions of records for what we were looking for. And they could do the same thing. I've heard that Ricochet is too labor-based. That's the reason why there isn't real-time banning. And what could they do? Well, for one thing, they have the configuration. They know how fast the person can move, and they could measure that. If the person's moving too fast, if he has no recoil, you know, just simple things, then that would be a flag. They could also compare how he usually plays with how he's currently playing, although I think that's not quite as accurate as, as the first. I mean, flat out, if somebody's running faster, jumping higher than the weapon allows in the configuration, full configuration, then certainly that would be an indication that the person is cheating. Also, how many times do they shoot through structure at enemies on the other side that the structure is impenetrable by bullets? Today, I was, I was on Airborne, the Airborne map, you know, the terminal, and this guy kept trying to shoot me through the pillars, and he never saw me. He never saw me. But he saw me somehow through the pillars, and he was firing away and had realized what he was doing and had quit, and... He used his aimbot, I suppose, with a knife, and as soon as I just peeked through, he had put away the gun, and I got stuck with a knife. And I'm telling you, the guy was not good with a gun. He wasn't good. He, if you came head on, even with his aimbot, he was easily dispatched. I don't know. So I think that... Microsoft, too, I predicted they would be suing the cheat providers. They are. There have been some lawsuits announced, and one of the major cheat providers, I think maybe even two, have shut their doors. They just say they can't afford the, to go against the big dollars of Microsoft. And what they've said to them is, well, you're taking away making a living off of your software, you know, the people that support your program. Well, you don't support the program by destroying it, destroying your customer base. Anyway, that's all I got for today. We won that one. Died about six times at the end. I like to do a little dance. I appreciate each and every one of you that have become members of the Air Crew Lounge. I think we got a Discord server that's being built right now, but no pressure if you're listening the guy that's building it so that maybe we can get together and go against the cheaters. <laughs> anyway, cheers and peace to you. See ya.